Hey everybody, this is Emery from the Brian Coyle Best Buy Teen Tech Center, and today I've got a new video for you. So this one is a little more fun, it's a little more creative, uh, and it's going to be focusing on some music production software that I know how to use. So, uh, a lot of, because I, I noticed that what a lot of kids like to do at the Tech Center is they like to record and make music uh, with our software, with our equipment, all that. And the tricky part is, is that you can do that at the tech center, but that stuff ends up being really expensive a lot of the time, and a lot of the time it's hard to get that stuff at home. So, here is a music production software that is free, that you can use just in a Google Chrome browser or Microsoft Edge, so you can work across devices on it, which is really cool, and you can just use it from something like a Chromebook, which is incredibly cool. I taught a class on how to use this software last year, and it was really fun and pretty successful, I think. So what you want to do is go to the website www.bandlab.com. Now that we're there, you'll see I'm already logged in, but the cool part is uh, you really just need to, you, you don't even really need to make an account. You continue with Facebook or Google. So I'll continue with Google since I'm already logged in through my Chrome browser. It recognizes that, and I'm logged in. I have a few projects that I've worked on. Uh, so you can see they sort of have they have a music production software but they also have sort of like a SoundCloud style um, interface that you can use which is really cool so you can listen to stuff some other people have made and there's lots of cool stuff that people put on there you can even share your music on there which is really dope uh, but mainly what we're going to be focusing on today is how you create the music so you'll hit create and there are lots of different things you can choose here. You can record your voice, which I'll get into later. You can also use a drum machine to make automatic beats for you. Uh, and then there's instruments, which is the main one I'll be focusing on. So, um, you might remember at the Tech Center, we have those little keyboards that plug into the computer that you can play different music on. And those are called MIDI keyboards. I don't have any of those at home. You probably don't either. Uh, but the cool part about this is that you can use just your normal computer keys. So right now it's just a normal grand piano, but you can see Z right there. If I press Z, it plays it. Same with C, same with B. You can make a chord. You can change the octaves. You can do lots of cool stuff. Now, if you don't want to play just piano, you can see these two tabs here. And the top one is sort of the general kind of instrument. So this top one is piano right now. You can also change it to brass. Maybe I want to do something like a trumpet, or they have a trombone or a tuba or whatever. So there's a trumpet. And then I could do something like a synthesizer. Um, and then the other part is drum pads. So right now it's just a 606 kit, but you can go something like. You can make a whole beat and you can see it tells you which keys make which noise. And there's a bunch of different kits and stuff like that you can use. So now we're going to go to actually making a song in it. So now that we're in the software, um, you can see that I've picked out a keyboard that I like. I like this organ. So then, if you want to record, all you do is hit record. You can mess around for a little bit to try to find something that works for you. So I'm going to record a quick little sample. You just hit stop and you can listen through. And now, if you want to add a new track, let's hit add track. I'll do an instrument again and I'm going to add drums to this. Now we can play through to try and figure out how it'll sound. So 
So now we can go back to the beginning. Let's turn up the volume so you can really hear that kick. And then you just hit record. And now we have a little drum beat on there. And you can mess with the volume if you like, you want the drums quieter. Louder. And I think I want to cut off that end part. So, what you do, if you want to edit it, I want to edit it, end it there. So you see this little button here, you can click on it and just drag back to where you want to cut. So now, there you go. And I think I'm going to add one more track to this. So I'm going to do add track, another instrument, and I want to add a bass line. So let's go to the bass section. So that's just a basic bass. Punchy jazz bass. Let's try this one. So let's go back to the beginning. And you hit play. So now I find a bass line that works for me. I can go back. And let's hit record one more time. Make sure to click on your instrument. And now let's pump up the bass a little louder so that and make the drums a little quieter so you can really hear the bass over it all. They have lots of different cool instruments and stuff like that, so that's just a quick thing I made. That's a, I threw it together in like like you saw, 15 minutes. Uh, then you can hit save to save your work, and it's saved. And then, if you really wanted to, uh, you could also, like I said before, add vocals, which is pretty cool. So uh, just hit add track. Let's do voice slash mic. Once you have the mic in, you go and you click on that track, you hit source. So I have an external microphone, this blue snowball plugged in, but I also, you could do the built-in audio. But I'm just going to default, and then you hit channel 1, should be all set. So once you have the audio loop up, you can record it. I've turned the voice volume on the mic down a little bit, but you can hit something like... And then you have your voice recorded. Team Tech Center. Team Tech Center. We're close. Stay at home. Team Tech Center. And now you have a cool little audio loop. And if you want to download it, you can just hit file download and let's hit mix down as because if you hit tracks it'll just download a single one of the tracks rather than the whole thing so hit mix down as so it'll take a second to save I'll speed this part up so now once it's finished you can choose what how to download it so I'll so medium quality mp3, high quality mp3, that's the sort of stuff you'll probably find on stuff like Apple Music or Spotify. Um, and then WAV files are like really high quality uh, audio files, but they take up more space on your device, whatever you're saving it to. So I'm going to just choose a high quality mp3. Um, and it'll download it. And now it's downloaded on my computer. So that's BandLab. Uh, it's a cool little program. Um, I have fun with it.
Um, it's a really cool free thing you can use from home just from your browsers. You can use this on a Chromebook. I believe they also have an app for phones, uh, and if you have a full computer, there's also a downloadable software version with a few more features. Uh, so, anywho, thank you for watching. I hope y'all are doing well. This is Emery, and I'll see you next time.